Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Gator Bait Bill and this is week 13 of my weight loss journey. How much weight have I lost in the last week? Tune in to find out. Cue the intro. Uh, welcome back everybody it's been a pretty stressful week thus far um, I don't know if I can maintain a hundred percent vegan a hundred percent of the time or not uh, doing good so far but there's a lot of uh, unanticipated uh, stressors kind of involved in, in doing this sort of diet one of which is just you know almost in a sense a tribal thing you know your, your tribe is your people your mom and dad your children your brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and stuff like that and while I'm a big believer of uh, leading by example sometimes I think that we have to kind of cross that bridge for our people our tribe and uh Break bread with them the way that they do. Um, you know, it's, it's I, I don't view life as being necessarily just about me. You know, I get uh, I get the idea that sometimes we do things for ourselves, and that's a good thing, but. Um, you also have to do for others sort of deal and that's not a bad thing it's just a thing you know and so this is one of the things that we deal with from time to time um, and honestly there isn't anything I wouldn't do for my people um, and I would hope that's true for the vast majority of us um, So I guess, you know, the, the question becomes, you know, can I go 100% vegan 100% of the time? It's a, it's, a good, uh, it's a good goal. I don't know how realistic the goal is. Um, we could try to keep maintaining, but I, I, can't, uh, I can't make any guarantees. Yeah, I could probably go like 99.9%, .9 something like that. I just I have trouble right now going ahead and saying yeah a hundred percent from now till I draw my last breath but yeah family is really important to me really really important to me and uh, I mean I'm not putting anything in jeopardy necessarily but to be able to to commune with family um, over a quote unquote normal meal is important. You know, in a lot of ways, uh, you bend over backwards for you, and you you have to it has to be give and take. It just simply can't be, you know, all me, all me, all me, and that's just how it is. So, and I think it's important at this kind of stage in things to have the ability to say, okay, uh, you know, just for a stress relief thing where I'm not feeling kind of separated from the herd, as it were, or separated from the tribe, as it were, to say, okay, I, I don't have to do this 100% all the time. Um, because it, being in that kind of place isn't necessarily good for me mentally. Um, I just don't want to to go there that way. It's it's tough. So I'm going through a rough spot at the moment, anyway, and uh, I have to be able to take you know. <laughs> 
respite as it were, or even reduced stress as it were here and there. Um, and I have to be good with that. Long term, you know, I want to, to be able to get down to 200 pounds. Um, but I'm not willing to go into a wall at 200 miles an hour to do it either. Um, so I just, I have to have the ability to modify things as, as we go, um, at least a little bit. Uh, keeping the same goal in mind, going down the same path, but it's not necessarily a direct line. You know, if you ever get walking out in the wilds, which this, where I'm at, it's not very wild, but it's as close as you get to, from where I'm at. It's not like you're walking in the woods in Colorado. Um, you know, it, none of these outdoor paths are straight, straight. You know, they meander around, they go past stuff. It would be a really boring walk if you did a mile or so in a straight line, you know. I mean, you could make it fun, but generally speaking, it, it's just boring, you know. And I don't think the path in life is very straight either. So, I think there is time to be rigid in a diet, and there's times to be not as rigid in a diet. And I just, uh, I think in order to kind of survive mentally and to be successful long term, that I have to have that kind of uh, flexibility in things. Um, because when I do, if I do, uh, break with veganism thing, you know, have meat to have that communal meal, um, is more than the physical kind of repair that a vegan diet would do or does do. Uh, but you have a spiritual side too. And be, doing the vegan thing is very spiritual. Um, but... You, you have to be spiritual with your people, with your tribe, with your family. And, uh, yeah, I get to understand now why, I, you know, I heard a hench herb before talk about he doesn't have any uh, non-vegan friends. And I get that. Uh, because it, it's a... I get that. You know, by not having a non-vegan friends, then you're able to commune in the same way over a meal. You know, when you think about how important a meal is, not just in, in body sustenance, but with friends and family. I mean, that's why restaurants are popular. You know, go out and celebrate a birthday at someplace fancy. You know, there's that communal thing, a Christmas dinner. Um, a, we call it a jigs dinner uh, at the house of St. Patrick's Day. And uh, even Thanksgiving. You know, all these big meals, your family gets together and relive old times. And, you know, that, that's a spiritual thing. And that's different. You know, the spiritual path is not one that is, I think, uh, singular. It is something that, um, much like life, goes in many directions and shows up in many different ways. So, I have to, I, at, at this moment in time, I know I have to allow myself some room uh, for error, if you will, some room to breathe. I don't, uh, I don't really catch that in too many places, and I'm not in a place right now where I can let things kind of paralyze me and be like, and just deal with that stress. I just, I, I, you just have to. So, rough week definitely a rough week um, gonna keep plowing at it uh, how much weight have I lost this week nothing nothing big fat zero and uh, I haven't gained any either but I haven't lost anything so I got a little bit of frustration with that as well uh, but the, you know these things are gonna happen and come up so the main thing really is is just alleviate stress where I can and uh, yeah, because, uh, I don't know, the stress level right now is just really, really high. So I'm going to do what I can and uh, keep things in perspective, I think, is ultimately kind of what the video is about. It can't be 100% either way, 
you know you can't be a hundred percent meat eater you can't be i can't be i should say i can't be a hundred percent uh be, it's just not an all or, or nothing some game it just it, it isn't that way so anyways that's uh that's my video i don't know if i'll have a uh juice review coming out on friday or not i just i don't know i got a lot on my plate right now and a lot of stuff to do and in some ways uh, coming out here and filming is, is kind of in the way so this video is way long uh if it seems discombobulated it's because of the stress load i'm under right now so that's pretty much that you guys have a good one i'll see you next time see you guys Bye bye